I've documented the rewards of over 800 soul dungeons of various different tiers and types, and so in this video I'm going to use that data and information to determine which ones are best. So there are two general rules to getting the most value out of your solo dungeons concerning maps and zones. So the first and most important thing to know is that you should always be doing solo dungeon maps when you're doing solo dungeons as they are just better than the normally spawning solo dungeons in every way. As far as I can tell, enchanted solo dungeon maps work in the same way that enchanted gear works in that one enchantment equals one tier above the base tier of the map. So for example, a flat 6 solo dungeon map will give you similar rewards to that of a normal tier 7 dungeon, and likewise a 6.1 solo dungeon map will give you similar rewards to a normal tier 8 dungeon or a flat 7 map. As you can see here, my loot from 100 6.1 solo dungeon maps gave me essentially the exact same rewards as my loot from 100 normal tier 8 dungeons. That being said, there seems to be a little bit more value attached to the base tier than there is to the enchantment, so for example, a 6.1 map will be slightly worse than a normal tier 7 map. The second rule is in regards to the type of zone that you should be doing your solo dungeon maps in, and that is that red and black zones are just far, far superior than yellow and blue zones for doing dungeons. The only time that doing safe solo dungeons in yellow and blue zones is even remotely worth it is when you have a super Gucci clear set of like 8.3 for example where you can clear very 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 quickly. If you don't have the money to spend on a super Gucci clearing set it's far better just to wear some expendable gear and do dungeons in the black and red zones. I know red and black zones can be pretty scary, especially when you're just starting out, but really the rewards are just so worth it. You will pay for your set 10 times over by doing dungeons in the danger zones versus the safe zones. For example, if you wear a clearing set that's worth around 1 million silver, which is a quite expensive clearing set, if you die once for every hour you spend successfully clearing a dungeon and selling its loot, you will still be making money. It is simply more cost effective and efficient to be doing black zone dungeons in tier 6 gear than it is to be doing yellow zone dungeons in tier 8 or tier 9 gear. Okay, so now that we have the two general rules out of the way, knowing you should be doing solo dungeon maps in the red and black zones, which exact solo dungeons should you be doing? To answer this question, you really have to ask yourself, do you want more fame or do you want more money? No matter what you choose, you'll be getting both no matter what, but depending on the specifics, some are a little bit better for money and some are a little bit better for fame. Starting with the zone red versus black, if you want fame, you should always be doing black zone dungeons. The exact same dungeon in a red versus a black zone will always yield more fame in a black zone, no matter what. Now the same is true for loot in that you will get more base loot going in the black zone than the red zone, however the red zone has the advantage of you being able to faction flag. If you capture in the money that you get from faction flagging, typically speaking and especially if you're high up in your faction ranking, you're going to get more money by doing red zone dungeons than black zone dungeons. So generally speaking, if you're focused on money, do red zone dungeons, and if you're focused on fame, do black zone dungeons. The next thing to look at is the enchantment of a map that you're doing. Do you want to do 0.1s, 0.2s, 0.3s, just normal flat 0.0s? Which one is best for you? The general rule for maps is that the higher the enchantment you go, the better it's going to be for fame and the worse it's going to be for money. For example, when I did 100 tier 6.1s versus tier 6.2s, the 6.2s were significantly better for fame but also significantly worse for overall money. The difference seems to cut off around between the 0.1 and 0.2 as the cost of the 0.2 map starts to get a little bit too expensive and so if you want to focus on money I would highly suggest doing either the flat 0.0 maps or 0.1 maps. On the other hand if your focus is on fame you want to be doing 0.2 maps or even 0.3 maps if you really don't care about the money. The last thing that you need to think about is the base tier of dungeon. While maps are super good, the base tier of the dungeon is still very important in determining its rewards. For example, tier 8 dungeons don't reward any loot below tier 6, so they can really be where you start to make a lot of money per hour. Really what this means is that you want to go as high of a base tier as you can, especially if you're caring about money. Now the very first thing that you have to look at when deciding what tier is, what level of reaver do you have. If you don't have tier 8 reaver, you aren't going to be able to do tier 8 solo dungeons very effectively. That being said, the biggest thing that's going to decide what tier to do is their safety. 
While tier 8 solo dungeons are really great, they're also the most dangerous. Really, there aren't a lot of solo dungeon divers anymore, but it can still be a risk in tier 8 zones, and tier 7 zones in the royals are really the only zones you're going to see divers, and they can be quite dangerous there. An even bigger risk, no matter what solo dungeons you're doing though, are gankers. The higher tier zone you go, the further away you're going to be from a safe town where you can sell your loot. So tier 8 zones are really deep in the black zone, meaning you're not going to have any places close to you to store your loot and then sell it. This really increases your risk of getting ganks while transporting your loot if you do high tier soul dungeons like tier 8 and even tier 7s have greater risk than tier 6s and 5s. Not to mention, there's also a lot of gankers that hang out in the tier 8 and tier 7 zones themselves, meaning the risk of getting ganked in between your soul dungeons is also higher if you do higher tier dungeons. Along with this, the higher tier dungeons give heavier rewards, especially the tier 8s which only give tier 6 gear plus, meaning you're going to have to transport more often, giving you more chance to get ganked. Really, all of this is to say, go as high tier as you're willing to risk. The lower tier of dungeon you decide to do, the safer you're going to be. If you're entering the black zone for the first time, for example, maybe stick to tier 5 or tier 6 dungeons, one zone away from the portal zones. If you're in Arch on the other hand and have a pretty safe tier 8 zone to farm in and then big 100 man group transports to transport your gear back to town, you can feel free to farm in that tier 8 zone. One other quick thing to note is that if you're trying to decide between doing tier 5 maps and tier 6 maps, generally speaking you want to do tier 6 maps because tier 5 maps are overpriced due to people doing them in the yellow zone. So there's a high amount of people that do safe soul dungeons in the yellow zone, which really jacks up the price of tier 5 maps compared to tier 6 maps, well, really any of the maps. So you kind of want to avoid doing tier 5 maps if possible. Okay, if you have an idea of what type of zone you want to do and what enchantment of map you want to do, there's one last thing to think about before you choose your exact zone. Solo dungeon maps can spawn in your zone or one zone away from your zone. This means that if you choose a zone that is bordered by others of the same tier, you'll get bounced back and forth between those two zones while doing your maps. Really, this isn't great because it increases the chance of getting ganked and just takes more time, so if you can, you want to find an isolated tier of your zone. This is really easy for tier 8s and tier 7s as they're almost never bordered by a similar tier zone, but it can be kind of difficult with tier 5s and tier 6s sometimes, so take the time to search around and find a zone that isn't bordered by any others of the same tier. If you want my personal recommendation about which solo dungeons you should be doing, if you're looking for fame, I would suggest doing 6.2s or even 6.3s out in the black zone. If you want money, I would suggest 7.0 maps in the red zone while well, faction flagged. That being said, I would really suggest choosing for yourself as the best one for you is really going to depend on your situation. Okay, that's everything you need to know to choose the best soul dungeons for yourself. I hope this video helped you and you enjoyed it. And as always, if you have any questions, leave a comment or join my Discord and ask me there. Right.